Hey everyone, what's up? It's Mevinka with another Let's Play. Um, today I'm going to be playing this awesome text-based adventure game. I mentioned it briefly in my first Let's Play of Binding of Isaac. Um, this game's called Dark Scavenger. Um, it's text-based, so it might seem kind of silly, or old-fashioned rather, since we're all used to having, um, I guess, more active gameplay in our games, but I promise you that this game is fun, it's hilarious, and it has a really unique um, way of dealing with items and loot. Um, hence the name Dark Scavenger. Um, it's really fun, and I've played it a little bit, but it's been a while, so I'm gonna just start a new game. Um, yep, and whatever. It tells me that it's gonna save games. I'm just gonna play a new game. So, um, it's kind of plot-based, but the plot is really crazy, and from what I recall, it's, like, important, but not that important. Um, so, yes, delete my save data. Okay. Uh, so this is sort of the main interface of the game. Like I said, it's text-based, so there's not a whole lot of, like, moving around or anything. You can pretty much play this game with just a mouse. Um, it says, I'm drifting alone through space. Oh no. A massive, disgusting creature approaches me from the blackness. And... How disappointing. I was hoping for something a bit more... Oh shit, is he gonna eat me? Uh, shit. Okay, I don't remember anything from this game, because it's been a while. Um... So I guess I'll respond with the more calm approach, because I'm a pretty chill guy. Maybe he has maybe something less terrifying to say to me. It's like, look at the art. He's like got, it's just like a mass of organs or something. Um, his name is Den. Um, sounds dark and frustrating. Okay. Uh, let's conclude this verbal exchange. A new breed of existence. Well, that's terrifying. Um, uh, I will challenge him. Eat me if you dare. And he laughs at me. That's bad. Um, as you wish, that's foreboding. Oh boy! Okay, so this is where they teach me how to play the game, though I kind of vaguely remember how that whole, how the gameplay works. So, basically, Dark Scavenger is a game that comprises of three, um, ways of dealing damage. You have your weapons, um, random items, and allies that you can ask to help you. Um, when you mouse over things, it tells you, like, oh, these are the effects, this is what happens. Sometimes there aren't any special effects, so like, for example, the old, ro the old robot, um, stuns an opponent and does like one to three damage. I can also just punch him with my fists. Um, this right here is my health bar and here's like some, uh, some settings and stuff. Um, I'm sorry by the way if my voice is really loud. I've tried uh, multiple times today to sort of finagle my system, my system if you will, of uh, audio recording to make it less loud and obnoxious, but um, it's kind of hard to do that so um, I'm doing my best here, but just let me know in the comments if it's if my voice is too gross or loud or whatever. Um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna hit him with the rusty store. Oh, it says weapon does high damage when an enemy is stunned, so I think I'm gonna try using my uh, old robot that stuns an opponent on Den. And I'll click on him, and oh, I stunned him! Woo! -hoo! And now it's my turn again, so I will hit him with my sword. Um, oh, there is a uh, there is a um, health bar down there, so that tells me. Um, I slash Den with my sword. Now he's mad at me. That's scary. Um, so I think I will use... So this makes it so my sword does more damage. So I will use the battle booster. Um, and Oh, so items that are consumed every time you use them. So you have a finite number of uses which, with each item that you have. Um, and uh, now I'm going to stun him again. Because I gave my sword more attack bonus. So I will stun him. And then I will hit him with my sword for, like, extra, extra damage. And, oh look, I did, like, some, I did some good damage to this guy. He's not so bad. Uh, okay, he's focusing on me. That's terrifying. I am going to stun him again. Yay! Okay, good. Uh, hit him with everything you've got, because he's tired of playing with me. All right, I'll do that game. Uh, time to stick him with the sword. Uh, I did seven damage to him. Yes! Oh my god. Den wraps his huge hand around your body. Something bad is about to happen. You take six damage. I think this means he's going to eat me soon. Um, so I guess I'll grab the, uh, the battle booster again. Uh, and since he didn't hit me that time, I'll just hit him again with my old sword. Um, so it's turn-based, so normally, he's not hitting me right now, but normally it goes like me and then him and then me and then him. Um, but I guess he's just not doing anything right now, so I'm gonna hit him again with my sword. I'm doing good damage. I'm like really. I'm proud. Oh shit! Oh, oh god. Okay, so he just <laughs> he just did 72 damage to my health. Um, but there's a healing potion at the corner, so I guess I can click on that and it heals me 
all the way back to full. So now I get to do stuff again. I guess I will... I will hit him with the sword? Or... Yeah, I guess I'll hit him with the sword. And... Okay, it did a little bit of damage. Oh, shit! <laughs> Dan hurls an asteroid into your fragile body. I must be a pretty big fucking dude if I can take an asteroid hit, but alright. Um, you go, Den. Alright, should I punch him? I should try punching him, because I don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, use the dreaded hamster style. Go me. Oh, he sets me on fire with the power of the sun. He does so much damage to me. I I think I can still win, though, because, like... Okay, so I'm going to charge up my sword again. And I'm going to hit him with the old sword. I did 10 damage to him. That's pretty good. Uh, Den laughs and unleashes a swarm of meteors. You are ripped into pieces. Who am I? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm torn into pieces now. That's beautiful. Um, I will punch him again with my mighty, mighty fists. Um, and he sets me on fire again with the sun. Um, what worries me is that my health potion is empty. And, oh, I have to stun enemies to fill back up. I should have saved my stuns. Now I'm most certainly going to die. Um, okay, maybe I can do enough damage to him before he does damage to me. Although, if he hits me with that 72 hit thing... Oh, my god, 15 damage. Please, old sword, critical hit. No, oh no. Oh no. Oh! I twirled out of the way as a meteor is hurled at me. That's beautiful. Okay, let's... Oh wait, no, I'm gonna use my last battle booster. And I'm going to hit him. Oh, so close. I have 24... I have 8 health, po health points now, so I think I can kill him with the old sword. I killed him! He's gone! Woo! That wasn't so bad at all. Uh, you are strong, much stronger than I anticipated. It's a shame you resist me. I could offer you something much greater than the reality you know. Well, that's really nice and vague and ambiguous. Uh, I shall leave you to rot in space. When your body has faded away, I will return to collect your eternal essence. That's disturbing. Oh, shit. Now, okay, change of scenery. Uh... Body struggles to stay. Okay, so apparently I've been asleep for forever. Slowly, you open your eyes. <laughs> right, okay, so now I'm on the spaceship. Um, you know, I'm gonna close my eyes again. <laughs> the game is telling me that uh, I shouldn't close my eyes. So, I guess now I have to look and open my eyes up. And the skeleton man, it's Skeletor. Thank you. My name is Kamaho. Uh, welcome you to our ship. And, oh, this guy's creepy looking. He kind of reminds me of the Joker, but if the Joker was crazier, I guess? Um, his name's Falson, and apparently the other one is Gazer. Um, right, so that that's right. So the way this game works is you have three teammates. Um, Kamaho the skeleton, Falson the crazy green clown guy, and Gazer. And I don't think Gazer ever talks. I think he just basically stares at you all the time, which is kind of unsettling. Um... And they're the guys that help turn your loot into items, like your weapons, items, and allies that you can use to fight other shit in the game. Um, so let's continue on with some plot development. Uh, yes, that would be good to know. Why am I here? Um, they found me floating in space. Uh, Falson is creepy. Uh, but your life is still in peril. Uh, <laughs> okay, apparently we're out of fuel and we will die, so... Uh, let's see if I can get us some fuel. Um, so we're orbiting some planet thing. Right, this is kind of how text-based adventure games work. Uh, it's just sort of a lot of reading and clicking. Uh, but it's really fun. Uh, I actually really enjoy this game. I can't wait to get back into some more formal combat to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be an eager beaver. I'm just going to be like, yeah, let's do shit, man. Um, we will be able to support you through crafting powerful equipment for you, but unfortunately all of us are terrible fighters. And everyone says, yeah, that's pretty much true. I'll explain the rest when you get down there. Head through the exit door when you're ready to depart. Um, so now I can uh, so click on a crafter or the exit door. So that's how this works. Each one of these guys will craft items for me. Um, yep. Uh, all right, I've already read all this, and dialogue is not as fun to read on a Let's Play as far as other things is concerned. Um, if you want to, I can uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make the dialogue more interesting, or the I'll let you read the dialogue and do um, some reading. <laughs> uh, from where? From space? What part? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave now. 
Um, so yeah, the dialogue is fun, but I, what I really want to do is get into some of the actual gameplay of the combat. So Gazer um, points toward the window. Okay. So yeah, there's just some like very rudimentary dialogue that establishes the game. Basically, these three people are people that you don't really know. They're kind of crazy, and they're going to help me do stuff, I guess. So I'm going to go to the ex exit, and the forest beckons. So this is the first, I guess, level of the game. I've already done this level before, so this is sort of how the game works. It's like a open world um, image, I guess. It's pretty much all it is. And I, it'll just give me random events that happen. So you encounter two bandits carrying long marble box. And they look scary and terrifying. Swiftly taking notice of you, they place a cargo on the ground. Don't you know who we are? Um, yeah, let's be cocky. Don't you know who I am? I'm a dark scavenger. Uh, oh no. So they're going to try and kill me and make you a prize for Samo Cadge. Oh good, so now I gotta fight them. So there's some uh there's some new items that I got. Um and some allies that I can call on. Um and there's some new items. Let's see your healing fluid will heal me 50 HP. Control A. Uh tiny remote controller with a big red button. Makes your next attack affect all opponents. That's kinda cool. Oh look, it's my sword. My T Rusty sword. That's nice. And I have a pistol. High damage when stunned, and Ash Light. Uh, let's set someone on fire, I like that. So let's attack this guy on the left, he looks kind of... Oh good, I found out he's weak against fire. Um, so now he's gonna get totally screwed. And he slams his axe into my side, that sucks. Um, so now he's stunned, so I think I'm gonna hit him with a T Rusty Sword, and kill him. I take 8 damage from his axe. And let's keep going. Um, Falston's kind of funny because his damage ranges from 1 to 20. So if I get lucky, something awesome will happen. And if I don't, something terrible will happen. So let's see. Falston, go! Oh shit, he did 19 damage! <laughs> Falston shows up in a two-piece swimsuit. It hurts to look at him. I agree, he's a nasty green monster. That was pretty sweet. Most of the time that I use Falson, I end up getting like one damage off him, so that was actually pretty cool. Um, good work with those bandits. Looks like you found some loot. Do you know what to do with it? I'm good, thanks. Alright, we'll see you soon. Um, right, okay, so the reason why I said this is because I do know how the mechanic works, so I'll explain it to you. Um, so basically, you get loot from killing things and exploring the level, and by exploring, basically, it's just like clicking on parts of the image and like dealing with random text events, um, and when you get loot, you can convert that loot into items, but the catch is, you can only convert that loot into one kind of item, and you can only use each of your allies once. So at the end of every, like, screen, or at the end of every, like, set of exploration, I'll get three items, if, I, if I'm good. I'll get three items, and then I have to choose whether or not I want to convert that item into a weapon, an item, like a consumable item, or an ally. Um, and depending on who I give it to, uh, between Falson, uh, Gazer, and Kamaho, the three friends of mine on the spaceship, they will make different things for me. Um, and certain things are better than others, so like, if I give, like, um, I don't know, what's some weird thing that was, like, flaming piece of underwear, I think, is in this game, right? Um, I can, I think Kamaho, like, can maybe turn it into some sort of gun thing that shoots flaming underwear, and Falson uses it and turns it into an item that, like, lets me put on the underwear, and I gain fire damage or something. And then if I give it to Gazer, he makes a dragon out of it. I don't know how that works, but he makes a dragon. Um, and you can't really tell what they're going to make. They give you really crappy, vague descriptions. So it, the fun in the game is just deciding and discovering what different items you'll get. Um, so sliding the marble container open. Uh, dehydrated skeleton. And let's see here. So see, look, now i got a caramelized bone. Um, a bone glazed over in a strange orange sludge. So now I have some loot, right? And when I go back to the ship, I can give that loot to my, my party members, and they'll convert it to items for me. So let's look at some of the environment here. Um, so let's examine the bear traps. There's an amputated bandit leg caught in a closed set of these steel jaws. Oh, right, so let's see here. I can either use my hands to pull it apart, which will probably hurt me, 
or I can wedge something metal in between, and it'll pry it open. Um, do I have anything metal? I have the sword, so here's what I'll do. I'll use my sword, uh, and I'll force the bear trap open, and maybe this foot belongs to someone. And look, I got an item. I got a bandit foot. Um, so, maybe it'll come in handy? Um, that's weird, I guess, but okay. Um, muddy puddle. That doesn't look safe to drink. Is that all it tells me? Oh, that's disappointing. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the tree. Um, uh, there's something stuck in the tree, so I will throw a weapon or item into it. Um, let's throw the sword again, because I have ten uses of it. And it falls down, and I get a net. Nice. Alright. Um, so let's see here. Is that everything? I think this net here... A uh, dangling net hangs from the tree branch inside of the remains of an unfortunate villager. Oh, poor guy. Um, so I'm going to use my sword again, because I get... Well, I'm running out of uses, but I guess I'll do it. Um, oh, shit. He was dead, I guess. Um, oh, good. So, I, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, I'm getting, like, loot to, to give to my party members. So I got a sacred locket. Um, Pretty-looking locket. Oh, right, so key items are different than the, like, shitty items that I pick off the ground. Key items could become useful later on in other random, um, textual events that might happen. Um, so let's see here. That's a little bit different. I guess the last thing was this entrance. You see a burning village, probably because of those douchey bandits. Is that... Is that... Is that everything? I guess that's everything. So now, um, I'll click on this arrow... Uh, examine janky tree. Um, click on this arrow, or I can look at the map and it'll tell me where I've explored. Um, so I'll go to the next area, and look at the loot that I got. I got a caramelized bone and an old net. So if I click on caramelized bone, I can click on either Kamaho, Falson, or Gazer, and they'll turn it into an weapon, an item, or a familiar, or a, I guess it's an ally. So it's here. This amber sludge has strange kinetic properties. I could use it in conjunction with bone fragments to make a gun. That sounds kind of cool. Um, you'll be able to go first twice with this awesome cowboy badge. So I think what this means is that um, if I give it to Falson, he'll give me an item that if I use um, at the very beginning of a fight, I'll get to like shoot twice or something, uh, which is kind of cool. Gazer holds his arms out like a zombie, so maybe he makes a zombie for me. Uh... So here's the thing, if I give it to Kamaho, then I definitely can't turn the net into an I into a weapon. Um, go first twice? That sounds useful? I'm gonna actually turn it into the kinetic gun thing. So he made... <laughs> so he made me a bone dart Uzi that shoots rapid piercing bone darts. That sounds pretty sweet. And now, so now if I click on the old net, I can't make a weapon out of it, so I can only choose between false and a gazer. Um, so I can either bounce projectiles back at other people, or I can make a cowboy? That sounds cool. Uh, Jerbok the Trapper. This bandit hunter chases down his prey from atop a giant alka beast. Um, I'm not sure what those look like yet, but I'm sure we'll run into one later. Good, so now I'm in the next area, and so now I get to like fight more dudes, get more loot, and that's sort of the progression of the game. You get awesome loot that's crazy, and then crazy shit happens, and you just sort of keep going. Um, firmly gripping a half-empty bottle of liquid. Oh, good, he's drunk. <laughs> that's a pretty sweet image of a drunk bandit. Um, you want a piece of me? Uh, let's ask him what he's drinking. I'm a nice guy. This is Crew Brew. Uh, apparently he's a fucking alcoholic, because he can drink shit that kills animals. Uh, now, what, here's what I want. Do I want to use an ally? Do I want to drink it, or do I want to just kill him? Um, you know, let's drink. I'm a drinking kind of guy. Oh, fuck, that did 20 damage to me. Uh, I black out for several minutes. Boy, that sounds like tons of fun. Uh, and he's... Oh, cool! So now I get a... So he left and he gave me a bottle of disgusting shit. So there we go. Uh, now I have crew brew. Um, let's look at the lake. So 
So something shines up at you. Dead fish floating up to the surface suggests that it would be risky to swim. Let's let's try to reach in with a long item. Oh god, I guess the longest thing I have is the sword. Oh! Okay, I guess that works then. It's not really a hook, but whatever game. Um, I got a lure! Perfect. A shiny lure that's perfect for catching fish. Um, so that's what the lake gave me. Let's look at these spine flowers. Small mushrooms and flowers grow from these black vines. Let's approach the bandit, because it's pretty much... You should probably approach everything that you see unless it's obvious that it's going to kill you in one hit or something, because that's how you get items in this game, and items is what makes this game fun. Um, pay me no heed, I'll be out of your way in a minute. Um, what are you doing? Uh, he's looking for shrooms. Uh, oh, there's an infestation of bad shrooms. Maybe he's not so bad after all. Uh, he wants to contain them. Uh, wait, wait, is that it? He just left? Uh, okay. That was kind of silly, but alright. Let's look at some empty bottles. Uh, okay, work of that crazy drunkard bandit guy. Okay, let's look here. Um, must have been some sort of battle from a gravestones. A large cage is camouflaged from the trees. Several wild animals or people. Am I missing anything, or do I just get one item from this area? Maybe I just get one item, I guess. Maybe I should have killed that guy. I probably would have gotten an item if I killed him. Um, but I guess... Um, it doesn't really matter if I go north or south. I'll go north. Um, so, let's see here. Crew Brew. This alcohol has both healing and draining properties. Oh, I bet he'll give me an item that drains life from someone and gives it to me. Um, you don't really know your opponent until you've eaten them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gazer hangs two of his fingers from his mouth like vampire fangs. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Falsen on this one. I kinda wanna see... Medicine Bottle. Uh, with Foreboding Skull and Crossbones label. I have no idea what that does. Allure! Um... That's a nice thing. I bet it could make it work on a lot more than just fish. Gazer beckons you forward with a single hand. Creepy. Wait, like a sexual thing? I, I gotta do it. Fenya the Busty! Um, so I got a... So he took a lure and turned it into a bandit temptress who distracts opponents of the opposite gender. That's... Wow. That's great. That is fantastic. This is why this game is great. Um, sound of a whip cracks as the rope tightens. Suddenly you are suspended upside down. Oh no, I'm in a bandit trap. That's the worst. Uh, so should I try to reach up? Should I use a sharp weapon to destroy the rope? Or yell for help? I will, uh, loosen the rope with my hands. Oh, can't do it. So I guess I'll use the sharp weapon. And I'll use my sword again. Uh, wait for the band with your weapons ready. I actually kind of want to ask an athletic ally to set up a trap, but I don't think I have any. I have Fenya the Busty, and I have... Oh, I have the, the the hunter guy, so I bet I bet he's athletic. Um, Jerbok the Trapper. Um, yeah. Oh, I only get two uses of him, though. Aw, oh, that's kind of... Oh, that's a little... Oh, see, here's the problem. If I use him, then I only get one chance to stun... Um, all my enemies, which is really nice. But, you know what? Fuck it. Fortune favors the bold. Gonna do it. Jerbok the Trapper successfully sets up the trap, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, oh good. Now I get to kill them in my trap. Um, so they're stunned. And I think... Okay, Flintlock Pistol does a lot of damage when enemies are stunned. Uh, 13 to 18. So I think I'm just gonna kill this one. Yep, awesome. I killed him. And now he's gonna hit me with his nonsense, but I don't really care. I take 8 damage from a stupid mace thing. Um, I think... What does a medicine ball do? Use this on an opponent and then kill them to gain health back. I will do that then. I want to see what that does. Alright. Now I think I'm going to shoot him with the ash light. Because if I recall, the bandits are weak to fire. 
Yeah! Oh look, I got eight health back. That's great. Um, and I got the snap rope, which is a trap piece. So here, so this, yeah, see, so this is kind of just how the game works. You just go through, you get the awesome loot. Uh, delicious bud berries. The bush rustles. Let's eat the berry. Delicious. Um, yeah, we'll eat another. Um, yeah. All right, one more. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, let's kill this Alka Beast dude. Um, do I have any allies that are good against beasts? Oh shit! So my guy actually rides on top of this thing. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I guess I'll shoot him with the uh, Ash Light. He might be weak against the fire. Yeah, he totally is. Okay. Uh, so I stunned, so I'm gonna shoot him with a pistol because I did a lot of damage last time. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And he's focusing now. Um, so that means if I don't kill him next time, he's probably just gonna do a shit ton of damage to me. So let's hit him with the Bone Dart Uzi. And I ended him! Yes! Yes! So good. Oh, good. I got some Bud Berries. And see, that's what I was talking about. Like, if you say no to stuff, then you don't get as much loot, and that's just no fun. Oh, wait, no, that was the bush. I was just there. Um, heavy log. Uh, it's never bothered. Set up again. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay, traps and spike pits. Uh, the ground suddenly opens up. Uh, should I grab onto the edge or stick? Oh, I can choose to free fall. That's pretty funny. Um, you know, I might as well just not fight with my sword and just use it as like a event thing. So, I catch yourself before landing on the spikes. Uh, oh man, who is this guy? That guy looks freaky. Uh, we must be punctual. Um, the Eskela. I've never met them yet, so I have no idea what they are. Apparently, they walked right past me, so that's good. Um. I don't really know what to do now. Uh, I guess I will go to the north more. Yep, alright. Snap rope. The rope is made from elastic metal, uh, so I can make a trap weapon. Uh, I can make something that'll make people not want to come near me, or someone who... So he makes an Indiana Jones? Uh, let's look at the bud berries. Oh! So he gives me grenades? That would be tight. Uh... Gazer shields his face with his fingers as he puffs out his... I don't know what that means. I'm going to make the grenades! Um, awesome. Now the snap rope, I guess I'll turn into the... I don't know which one to choose, really. Fuck it. Uh, let's do... Let's do false newbie trap. A thin wire... <laughs> newbie trap, I just got that. Uh, that's barely visible to the untrained eye. Okay, uh, Majestic Lake... No sign of bandits. Um, I think that's probably a fair stopping point for now. So that's Dark Scavenger. Um, if you guys like the game, if you think it's fun to watch, um, let me know and I'll do more Let's Plays of it. Um, but it's pretty straightforward and I think it's a great game. Um, and the loot system is really fun to play around with. Um, but yeah, that's... I, I guess I'll just stop there for now. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.